So picture this, you're walking through the airport on your way home from your holidays, you've bought all your perfume, you've bought your sunglasses, you've even bought a couple of snow globes and fridge magnets for the people that you should have bought something for, but you forgot. Then you find a golf shop in the airport. Surely there's nothing good in there. Surely you're not gonna find the best golf ball for you in an airport for cheap. Well, uh, let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. In today's video, that is correct, I bought some golf clubs on the way back from a holiday in Dubai Airport. Now you're probably thinking, James, which golf balls did you buy? Did you get them for cheap? Are they a good ball? And the answer to that, I bought these ones, they were quite cheap, and they should actually be the perfect balls for me. So first of all, they cost me 37 dirhams, which is around £7. And you might remember these, these are quite an old ball from Callaway. The Callaway SR3, or the Callaway Speed Regime 3, if I hadn't put all these tickets on them. Now Callaway actually did Speed Regime 1, Speed Regime 2, and Speed Regime 3. Now you'll see that the SR3 is designed for a tall level swing speed of 105 miles an hour and plus, which is what I am. So today, we're gonna to test these golf balls and we're gonna see if I've found the perfect golf ball by chance, because we'd bought all the perfume and sunglasses we needed. And it's actually a really strange one, guys, because if you do go in Dubai Airport, I'm sure a couple of you or a few of you have been there before, it's a full golf shop with clubs. I'll put it on screen now for you while I'm preparing to tee off. And it's very, very odd because if you go and buy a new drive, if you go and buy yourself a new putter, how on earth are you getting that home? Because you've checked all your baggage in already. Maybe that's why the old clubs are still there. Right, what are we going to shoot? Well, there's no broken tee pegs about. That's not very good. Right, what are we going to shoot here at Woolley Park Golf Club with these budget perfect purchased in the airport Callaway golf balls guys comment below what are we going to score I'm going to go all out attack it's a windy night so it should be fairly difficult oh that felt absolutely perfect that's delightful now I have actually used this golf ball before let me explain a little bit because the tile says perfect and might not be far wrong. So as you can see here, the golf shop in Dubai Airport did have a couple of different things in. It had some drivers, some iron sets, and lots of different golf ball selections. It had some Titleists, it had Pinnacle Golds, which I nearly bought for Chris as a bit of a joke, but my backpack was getting quite full. And isn't it funny because when you're in the airport, sorry to interrupt, but that's one of the best first t-shirts I've hit on here for a long time. Sorry for the rude interruption there, but when you're in the airport, you don't always expect to see a shop that you might kill a couple of, not hours, but maybe 20 minutes in. And when you see a golf shop, that's perfect. It keeps you out of the bar and McDonald's and things like that for that little bit longer. Right, I'm going to go a little pitching wedge here because I don't think we need too much. And these balls cost a heck of a lot less than the uh, perfume and sunglasses that we bought as well. Obviously, you can imagine... I wasn't on my own in the airport, but come on, under par. Hold that line. The wind is absolute, the wind annihilated that out there. Wow. Did not expect that. It's not too bad, but started right and it's I think it's Mr. Green left. And one of the big things I like about the purchase that I've made, and I know I'm making a video on seven pound or something, but sometimes when you find a golf ball that you have good memories with, that's a big thing. That's something which if you can maybe stock up on them, you might just play some better golf throughout the end of the season, which we're at now. Hopefully that's what this video is gonna be. Right, so we haven't capitalized on the good tee shot. Very, very, very windy as you can uh, see from up there. And it's a strange one because this is the second video I've done in a matter of weeks about picking a golf ball based on driver swing speed sandwich, I think, here. And it's not always the be all and end all. Short game plays a role. Go on, feed down. Feed down! And that's not the be all and end all when it comes to choosing your golf ball. Um, but for £7 from an airport, why not? 
I do hugely think you have to test golf balls around the green. You have to make sure that they are the right ball for you with your irons as well. And putter, putter is a huge factor in how I generally choose a golf ball. And I often think it can get severely overlooked. Wedges as well for that regard. Right, par from the first hole. We're going to play the first five holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club. Guys, what are we going to shoot? It's a little bit breezy, so I think level's a good score tonight. And that ball, I wasn't very pleased with how the wind took that on the second shot. So let's see if uh, we can improve on that a little bit. Guys, where's the weirdest place you've bought a golf item? Be it a club, be it some balls, be it a glove. Maybe even a shirt or something like that. Uh, we're going to try and keep this one under the wind if we can. And remember, this was Callaway's premium ball back in the day. Tall players were using this until the Chrome Soft got better. Right, at the bunker, bit of draw. Come on, wind. Stayed out to the right a bit. Safe though. Nice and low. Right. And that is two fairways out of two with the Speed Regime 3. I can't believe I'm saying that. It feels like such a blast from the past. Uh, 150's there. I think we can go a little eight iron here. Maybe a nine. Nine, I think. Right. So, the Callaway Speed Regime 3, like we said, it kind of took on Bridgestone's method of grading your golf swing for a speed and then choosing your golf ball from that. But what else do they have? And I'm not going to spend too long dwelling on this because apart from at Dubai Airport, I don't think you can even buy these anymore. I'm sure you'll get them on the internet or on eBay. But it's a urethane cover, which is the good stuff. We all know that's what we want from a premium ball. It's a multi-layer construction and a dual core construction, which again is the good stuff. And we all know that it's for people with a swing speed over 105. So really, it should be good. I remember these feeling quite firm back in the day. Right, is this enough? Flags at the back. We don't want to go long, but shorts, a definite par and a maybe bogey. Oh, that is a terrible shot. Get up. That's going to work. Incredible. Oh my God. I definitely feel the need to apologize for that because that was a terrible shot. But it's actually done okay. Oh, thin to win. Kept it under the wind. Right, we skirted our way around the bunker and uh, basically we're testing this ball out with wedges today, which often this year it hasn't been the case because we've been hitting a few greens. Sam wedge again. Chris is trying to get me away from, please don't go in the bunker. Get me away from using lob wedge all the time. The first chip felt nice and soft. How's this one feel? Oh, that felt firm. Let's run past a bit. I felt very firm. That felt like what I remembered it feeling like. Not perfect. Which isn't what the video's about. We all know these videos always come down to the flat stick. So how does it feel off the putter? I've told you how important... What is that? Ugh. I've told you how important a ball is with a putter. This is a naughty little right to lefter. Oh. That was lucky, that was very lucky. But, we get plenty of bad luck, so we should take the good luck. Lesson for you all there. And you see, I'm well aware that this channel's sort of turned into a budget channel, sort of a channel to try and find cheap equipment that can help you play golf for just that, for cheap. I quite like that, I like that, I mean, obviously I'm a Yorkshireman, and I do like getting good value, I do like getting a deal. And three premium Callaway balls for about £7.50 is a deal. Right, this is a nice wintry site. We're onto a winter green here on the par three off a mat. It's a lovely test of this ball, actually. I'm going to chip it up. It's about 100 yards. We're doing a bit of work on this green still and see if I can control the spin off a mat. Often it's quite difficult to do so. Come on, let's get up and under par. Oh, that could be perfect. Be good. I think that's okay, you know. I think that is good to go. Not bad at all. Nice bit of receptivity. Um, yeah, it stopped nice and quick. Can't say that word. It always comes down to the putter. And the ball, obviously. The ball is the only piece of equipment you hit on every shot. 
and I'm trying to save money by getting them in the airport. Turn. Oh, Jesus. Something about this green, I always hold that putt, always. It's like cheating a bit, but we're under par. Two left. Two left, and this is exactly what you've been waiting for. It is time for Big Dog, and this hole might be drivable. It's into the wind, and it is quite windy tonight, as I've already explained, but the tee's forward a bit. Just a bit. And we're going for it, obviously. And the next hole, it's a driver and a wedge, hopefully. What can we shoot? Guys, stay till the end. Let's see what we can shoot with this ball. So the line is about there. That's where we want to be with Shot Tracer. Can I get it on that line or am I going to chicken out and go left? This ball will either be on the green, front edge, green side bunker or lost. So there are your options. Come on! Speed Regime 3. Let's be having you. Oh, that is perfect! Go on! <laughs> oh, wow. I'm a bit worried that might be long. I think the wind's more that way. Should probably have checked that, actually. Um, I absolutely mullered that one. Fruit cornered it. Come on! I'm actually really excited because that could be perfect. It was the perfect line. Right, we're coming around the corner and we can see it on the back edge right there. That must have been so close to pitching in the hole with a golf ball that cost me £7.50ish, I think, from the airport next to the Bombay Sapphire and the Ray-Bans. What a time to be alive. Ah, I can see the pitch mark here. It actually pitched long. Maybe we should have, uh, should have hit three wood, potentially. That's got some stop on it as well to say it's a driver, hasn't it? Right, can we? Can we make the big bird? Because that's what hitting driver on here is all about. I'll tell you what, with drives like that, I might be getting in touch with Mr Callaway to see if we've got any of these left. If this goes in, I will email the guys at Callaway and ask if they've got any left. How's that? All right, worm casts everywhere. That does not go in that much, James, you absolute idiot. Apart from line and pace, that was a great putt. I think it's fair to say we got a little overexcited over that one. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Guys, how good's my putting been? If you're not a regular viewer to the channel, my putting towards the back end of this year has been phenomenal. It pays me to say, but it's all down to Chris Dennis Golf. So go and check out his channel. And he's not here today. He was in Dubai, actually. Am I going to pick some of them balls up from the airport? That's two under. One hole left. Guys, what are we going to finish? Putters on fire. Your par fours are terrified, my Scotty's on fire. Right, so this one should be downwind, and the plan here is to smash the dimples off this Speed Regime 3 and hopefully get down there as far as we physically can and make another birdie. We're going to try and stay tight left to the side of the hole because the flag's on the right and that opens it up for the second shot. How far can this go? Oh, it's fading, but it's in the fairway. So we've not opened it up, but it certainly travels. Is there something in choosing a golf ball for your swing speed? Maybe more testing required. And it's a funny one, because if you speak to the guys at Titleist, at TaylorMade, and even now Callaway, they don't always recommend choosing a golf ball to suit your driver. They do talk about a golf ball, A, to suit your budget, but also to suit your wedges, your putter, your iron flight. But I do love driving par four greens. <laughs> okay, if you can see that in the sea of leaves, that's actually another quite long drive. This fairway started to get a little bit more moist, actually, now we're moving into October and November. So that's all carry, pretty much. And that's massive, in fairness, thinking about it. Hats off, Callaway SR3 from Dubai Airport. 701, seven quid. And the really annoying thing here is that I've only got three of them. 
And I don't think they had that many. They had like SR1s and 2s, but not many of the 3s. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Right, 50 yards this. Go. I fatted that. <sighs> That's annoying. <sighs> the line was perfect as well. Ah! There's still a chance with a chip in. Maybe we were too close. Maybe I'm better off using a ball that doesn't go that far. Then we'll hit the green. <laughs> that was rubbish. Right, we should probably put this, but this is for three birdies in a row. So I'm going to stick with the same club I just used, the 56, and hope that's exactly what we're going to do. Chip in for that birdie. Guys, I know you've stayed to the end for a fireworks show. So... Turn, turn. Oh. Um, okay, that was a Catherine wheel. We've got a par put. Nothing says fireworks like a five from 50 yards. Saying that, we've hold these all day. Come on. Straight at it, nice and firm. Par or a double. Oh, get in. Guys, that was a video using golf balls I bought from the airport randomly. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that subscribe button below, leave us a like, and let us know where's the most random place you've bought golf equipment from. And apart from that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!